Welcome to Shower Thinkings. Today's video is, can you survive a free fall from an airplane without a parachute? Imagine plummeting from 30,000 feet, the world spiraling around you as you rush towards the earth with terminal velocity. Can the human body endure a free fall from an airplane without a parachute and survive? The statistics say survival is almost impossible, but history tells a different story. Strap in as we delve into shocking accounts of people who lived to tell the tale. Free falling without a parachute is a scenario that sends chills down one's spine. Terminal velocity in a stable belly to earth position is around 120 miles per hour or 195 kilometers per hour. At such speeds, hitting the ground is almost always fatal with the impact causing severe trauma to vital organs and the skeletal system. Yet, miraculous cases exist where individuals defy the odds. One of the most jaw-dropping accounts is that of Vesna Vulovic, a Serbian flight attendant who holds the Guinness World Record for the highest fall without a parachute. In 1972, Flight Jat 367 was bombed and Vesna plummeted over 33,000 feet. Astonishingly, she survived, albeit with a litany of injuries, including a fractured skull, three broken vertebrae, and legs temporarily paralyzed. Investigators concluded the impact was lessened because she was trapped by a food cart in the fuselage, which hit a snowy, forested area, cushioning the blow. It's not just Vesna. In 1943, bomber pilot Alan Meiji fell from his B-17 after it suffered devastating flak damage. He fell nearly 22,000 feet without a parachute, smashing through the glass roof of a train station in Saint-Nazaire, France. He miraculously survived, escaping with a fractured ankle and 28 shrapnel wounds. The glass roof is believed to have reduced the impact sufficiently to save his life. These stories are rare, but highlight several critical factors someone plummeting from an airplane might pin their hopes on. First is the landing surface. Snow, trees, and even swamps can significantly dampen the fall's brutality, as these surfaces absorb some of the kinetic energy. Secondly, the position in which the person falls matters. Spreading out limbs to maximize air resistance can reduce speed, while tucking in during impact can shield the more vital organs. Medical science has documented the human body's ability to experience heightened stress response during emergencies, Increased adrenaline can, in specific scenarios, aid in survival. Yet, the reality remains grim, as the vast majority of cases end in fatality. Falling in a dense forest or water might sound like a safer bet, but water can be as hard as concrete at terminal velocity, leaving little room for a positive outcome. There are also physiological phenomena at play. Hemorrhaging, massive internal trauma, and spinal injuries are almost guaranteed. Survival often comes down to minuscule, unpredictable variables such as angle of impact and even remaining conscious to brace for it. Some survivors have reported blacking out mid-fall, which might be a blessing, sparing them the terror of facing certain death. Parachute malfunctions have provided additional insight into survival without a canopy. Skydiving instructor Michael Holmes plummeted 15,000 feet after both his main and reserve parachutes failed. His fall was caught on camera, showing his desperate attempts to slow down using his body. He landed in a blackberry bush, which cushioned his fall enough for him to survive with a punctured lung and a broken ankle. Anecdotal evidence also includes Nick Alkamade, a British tail gunner during World War II, who fell 18,000 feet without a parachute. His spin was slowed by pine trees, and he landed on deep snow. Astonishingly, he walked away with nothing more than sprained ankles and light scratches. While stories like these edge on the miraculous, they all underscore essential survival elements, the landing surface, body positioning, and sometimes sheer luck. It's vital to acknowledge that these occurrences are anomalies. Standard scientific and medical consensus confirms that falling from an airplane at such heights nearly always results in fatalities. In conclusion, can you survive a free fall from an airplane without a parachute? Statistically, the odds are harrowing, but historical accounts illuminate the infinitesimal glimmer of possibility. Survival depends on myriad factors that align extraordinarily, 
painting a vivid testament to the human body's resilience under impossible conditions.